I pick up on vibes and intuitions. I'm like I'm a little intuitive about places and stuff. Wasn't getting a good vibe. Extremely cold. Bones were hurting. It was like weirdly cold in that place. Now you have seen films like Tumbar and Three as well. So there are different takes on ghosts and spirits. Huh? You know, to make horror films, you have to firstly believe in the supernatural and the sp and spirits and ghosts. And I think he's been through so many experiences in his life that. When you are a believer in it, you cannot fake something and make it look like something else. Hi, this is Sanaya Rani. Hi, this is Shivam Bhargav. And you're watching PeepingMoon.com. I believe in them. I believe in spirits. I believe in souls. I believe in it. Yeah, so do I. I definitely believe in ghosts. I've seen enough of it in my life. Yes. So there was this time when we were shooting the climax, and uh, you want to tell the story? Yeah, we were shooting the so. I didn't experience it per se, but we were shooting the climax of the film, and we were shooting it in this like a building which was a ruin. Um, <clears throat> it was, I pick up on vibes and intuitions. I'm like I'm a little intuitive about places and stuff. Wasn't getting a good vibe. Extremely cold. Bones were hurting. It was like weirdly cold in that place. And there was another actor, a British actor, who's also in real life a medium who contacts spirits and talks to them. And while we were shooting the film, we all were sitting together at one point, and he's like, "She's she's standing there. She's looking at us, and she's not she's not happy. We're disturbing her." And we all were like, "Who?" And then he said that her name was Rebecca. He spelled her name out actually, like he was like R E B E K K A H. Yeah. And he's like, "We're like intruding in her space." And Vikram sent the line producer to find out about it, and it's true. A uh, hundred years back, there was a hostel there. Uh, and there was a matron called Rebecca who worked in that hostel. This information is not on the internet, so it's not possible that he could have taken it out of the internet and told us about it. So we all freaked out, but continued shooting because we had no choice. <laughs> yeah, so there was an incident in the U.S. in I think 1981. Yes, in where Connecticut, some, I think. Mr. Johnson had uh, murdered his landlord, and when he was taken to court, he said that the devil made me do it. That's what the case was called as well, and that it wasn't him; he was possessed. So that was the first time that a case like this was taken to court, and um, he actually only got five years in prison. The and court and jury, of course, yeah, thought it was rubbish. Course, but, but you know, yeah. for a murder trial, you normally get a life sentence yeah. or death penalty, and he got five years. So I think somewhere yeah. somebody believed. So this incident inspired a film. It's not our film. You know, honestly. Um, to outsiders it'll look like i took too long to make a transit because my intention was never to transit into bollywood i think i i never looked at bollywood as a place that i wanted to you know i was very content with the work that i was doing on television uh what happened was the 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 content on television started changing and organically i weirdly moved away from it not realizing that i had actually moved away from it um during that i just i'm a greedy actor i search for good work During that process, Vikram approached me to do a web series called Zindabad, and I shot for that. I found that very interesting, the character, the story, everything. So I shot for it, and I think during that process, then I got, you know, it's like so work got me more work and a little more work, and I'm hoping that when Ghost releases, I get more work. Uh, uh, I was a casting assistant, yes, and, and then, did not cast me. Sorry. Uh, Just, uh, it's true. I was clearly not very good at my job. <laughs> uh, then after that, so I did another film called Siddhartha. That hasn't released yet, uh, but uh, it featured Mr. Mahesh Bhatt as a llama. He's acted in the film. So because of that, Vikram sir had seen some of the rushes of the film, and he had seen me, and he had really liked my work. And so when he launched VB on the web, he had called me in and, and spoken to me about it, and said that he would love to work with me. A uh, few years later, now when he was writing Ghost, his uh, casting uh, director got in touch with me, and it just one thing led to another. Uh, could you define a traditional <coughs> ghost versus a kind of well, versus a new age ghost? Like, what would you like to see as a ghost? You know, Vikram said something very interesting when we were giving an interview earlier, and he said that you know to make horror films, you have to firstly believe in the supernatural yeah. and the sp and spirits and ghosts. And I think he's been through so many experiences in his life that. When you are a believer in it, you cannot fake something and make it look like something else. So I think Vikram pretty much sticks to the basics in the sense of what he really believes that is there and can happen. But I would say that I mean our mm. uh, cinema is growing rapidly, and uh, now you have seen films like Tombar and Three as well. So there are different takes on ghosts and spirits now, huh? and 
eventually i'm sure we will have many other takes on them some of them might uh, kind of contribute or maybe uh, kind of fit into your definition of a new age ghost hi this is sanaya rani hi this is shivam bhargav and you're watching peepingmoon.com <laughs>